Hey guys, this is my video for repairing the Cisco 6970 and 40 and the 6910 uh, phones. If you try to pick it up and it ain't, it ain't quite working, well, it's a simple little fix. Uh, I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do. And um, shouldn't be that hard to do. You just pretty much need a screwdriver and uh, some sort of paper or some sort of plastic washer or something like that. Right here's my uh, 6970 uh, Cisco phone. Um, first of all, uh, the problem pretty much happens when you go to pick up the handset. And unlike what you see here, which is my line has picked up, you still see the standard um, display, even though you've picked up on the phone. The only way, of course, uh, generally this will work uh, for you to talk is if you come down here and you hit the speakerphone. <clears throat> now, some variation of that. Uh, you might be experiencing where you pick up the handheld and instead of it coming up right away, uh, it sits there maybe five, ten seconds, and then pops up. The problem all exists right here in uh, this switch. Uh, right behind here is a little plunger, which I want to show you how to get to. And basically, here's a here's what the plunger looks like. If this isn't depressed fully all the way to the end and opening up the line, I mean, if you can get a little closer, yeah, right there where that little black plunger pushes into those metal leads, to complete the circuit then the line doesn't open up. So if this isn't pushing in all the way then you don't get an open line. So <clears throat> first of all grab your phone, flip it over. You will probably have a couple of plugs here we need to remove. Uh, this is the network line. Uh, you will have to take that one out. It goes in right here where it has the SW for switch. That goes to the wall or to your actual switch device. Uh, you might have another plug in right here. This is uh, for your PC or to maybe another switching device. Uh, basically uh, your computer probably runs off of that one if you have something plugged in there. And then you might also have a plug in here for power. If uh, this is not plugged in directly to a power switch then you'll need a power brick here. So you have to remove that as well. And then over here you have your handset and you want to remove the uh, the cable from the your cable management here and then remove this plug from the back okay now I already have one here with the screws removed but I want to show you where you need to remove the four screws from the back of it now for pretty obvious there there's two holes and then underneath the feet on the bottom peel back this little foot there you'll see that displays another hole and then of course there's one on this side as well once those are removed, then you're going to need to disconnect it. Now, underneath right here are two little uh, plastic tabs that kind of go in this direction. And they hang on to the bottom part of this phone. So you're going to need to separate this from the bottom, push in the button here to push down the tab. I'm doing this one-handed. So, there you go. Um, you're going to need to separate it from the bottom right here. Well, it kind of popped open pretty easy for me. And then once that bottom part's open, you actually slide the top across it towards you from the bottom. So basically, you're pulling the top this direction towards you while pushing the other direction on the bottom. This should help separate it from those tabs. And there are your um, little hooks that they're hooked into. And it fell apart up here. But basically, your tabs... Well, on this, they're actually broken on this one. So, okay, that's why I'm using this as a display. All right. Now, these two parts, this is your trigger and your spring. That actually pushes the plunger in. If you can see right here where, how this sits in there, it actually pushes in on that plunger. And there's the plunger, there's our problem. Of course, like I said, we got some broken tabs here too. That's another problem, but this is just a demonstration of what we need to do. So you're going to remove both the spring and the uh, actual trigger device here from the phone. And then you need to remove this screw right here. Okay, this should pretty much pop up real easily. Now, in order for uh, this problem to be solved, what we're going to try to do is just actually raise this board, this little green board here, up off uh, of where the uh, stem here is. And what I've got here is just a couple of little washers that I'm going to use. Pretty much use anything. I would not suggest using anything metal, but um, just something like uh, these little washers or some little plastic, uh, something that's basically non-conductive. 
Alright, we'll put the screw back on the board like that. And we're going to put that right onto the, uh, the hole with the washers. Make sure to keep the uh, cable out of the way. Uh, getting stuck underneath the little plastic tab there. Now I would, wouldn't tighten this too tight, just snug. Um, main reason is you want to strip out that plastic uh, stem. And then if you can see kind of right here, see how that's the, the plastic part is lifted up off the board. Not the plastic, but the rubber. The plunger part right here is kind of up off the board. Can I, I can just wiggle it and push it back into place. But that way it's snug against the, uh, the circuit board there. Okay. Now after that's in place, it should have lifted it up just enough to get you the extra push you need to make sure that that's making its connection all the way down to the, to the board. Again, there's the insides, the little leads that it's going to need to make the, the connection. And then putting this part back together can be a little tricky. And it's one of the main reasons I'm making this video. Uh, make sure that, of course, your trigger right there is down, going into the, the hole right here. This, you have to raise them up. Again, I got missing tabs here that are broken, so... Um, and then it will fit down in here, and then it will push this part right here, right there on the on the plunger. Here's the spring. The other thing about the spring is when you uh, pull it off, if it's especially if it's been old, it may come off actually like this, and this is its normal state. You might actually stretch that out a little bit, give it some more of its spring back, and so you got you know spring kind of sits normally more like that. Now on one end you have a little hook that you can see here. That hook is going to go in this little hole right here. And you just put it in to there, twist it up, and now you've got the, uh, the spring in place. The other end, there we go, has a little L shape. I'm not moving it from that port. That's how your L shape goes right here, just like that right into the uh, the trigger. This helps push it down. That way when this is out, when you've picked up on the receiver, it's actually pushing in on the plunger right there. What I would do is before you put the whole thing back on, is test it out. Taking your plug, go ahead and plug it into the center switch. If you require power, there's your power right there. Uh, after this is plugged in, what you should get is, well, you got lights popping up down here. It should pop up and start to display and work as normal. And then, once your phone actually comes up, keep your hands behind, keep your hands behind here so this thing don't come flying apart. Uh, and then just push in the trigger and pull it back up, and we'll see real quick right here if the line will come up and that is normal. Now try not to push because then you'll get a false reading if you're pushing back here. But uh, but if you just push on this and then let it fling back without pushing on, uh, I'm sorry, push here to hang up the phone and then release it, letting the spring come back without pushing on the back. If the line comes up normally here, then you should be good to go. Hopefully that's a uh, effective demonstration on how to fix your phone. If you have any problems, of course, give me a call. Uh, I'll be glad to take care of them, unless, of course, I don't know you, in which case, don't call me. <laughs>